Hello team, welcome to the Certified Information Security Manager prep series. We will continue with our domain 2, Information Risk Management. Alright, so let's get started with our very first topic, which is what is risk? Okay, so team, risk can be defined as a combination of probability of an event and its consequences. Okay, so whenever there is a probability, of happening any event plus because of that event if there is any consequences then risk come into the picture there is one more important definition of risk where we can say when there is a threat coupled with vulnerability then risk comes if there is only threat no vulnerability or if there is only vulnerability no threat then there is no risk I am repeating when there is a threat and vulnerability, both are coupled, both are coming together, then only risk come into the picture. Similarly, if there is a probability, but there is no consequences, then there is no risk. Or if there is a, any consequences, but there is no probability, then again there is no risk. Okay. To explain this in more detail, let me try to take an example, which help you to explain this in much better way. Let's say this is area of jungle 1 and this is area of jungle 2. Okay. There are so many tigers are there in this jungle. These are tigers. Plus there are so many goats are also there or ships you can say. So, do you think there is any risk on these goats? Is there any risk? Answer is yes. Why? Because there is a threat. Threat is what? Threat here is tiger. That they may attack to these goats and kill him. Right? So, there is a threat. They, and do you think there is any vulnerability? In fact, is very much vulnerable. There is no wall, no fences, nothing. Tiger can go any time inside this group and uh, uh, try to kill any goat. So, absolute vulnerability is there. So, the definition of risk what we have just read is threat is equal to vulnerability in sorry, risk is what vulnerability into threat or when vulnerability coupled with threat. So that means there is a risk. So here threat is there, vulnerability is there. So that means risk is there. Right. Similarly, another definition is probability. Plus consequences. This is risk. So is there a probability tiger can attack to this goat? Yes. Consequences are there? Yes. They may kill one of the uh, goat. So, there is again risk. Now, let's try to understand my next concept what I have explained. If there is no vulnerability or no threat, then I said there is no risk. Okay. So, let's remove threat in this example. Let me try to change the color. Let me move out this threat. Threat means tiger. So, let me move all these tigers from jungle 1 to jungle 2. So, all these tigers were moved. So, is there any risk on this goat? Answer is no. Why? Because there is no threat. Only vulnerability is there. They are still outside of any border or fences. Right? They, are, they can move any place in this jungle. So, vulnerability is still there, but threat is not there because all the tigers were moved from jungle 1 to jungle 2, right, from forest 1 to forest 2. So, that means there is no risk. Similarly, probability is there? No, because tiger itself is not there. Consequences is there? No, if probability is not there, then consequences are also not there. So, again, we can say there is no risk. That means just by moving one threat, we can say there is no risk. Alright, now let's try to remove this vulnerability. 
so as of now these boards are very much vulnerable because there is no border no fencing nothing so if i create a border or fencing then let's see what happen so let's say this this blue line is a steel wall of 50 ft so and and i have not moved any tiger from forest 1 to forest 2 or jungle 1 to jungle 2 okay now do you think there is a threat yes threat is there because tigers are already there threats are still there jung in jungle 1 do you think there is any vulnerability no why because they are safeguarded by steel wall of 50 ft right so all goods are secured so vulnerability is not there only threat is there so that means there is no risk now let's try to understand this definition probability is there yes probability is there consequences will be there no consequences will not be there because even the probability there they cannot attack there will be no consequences that means again there is no risk okay so here in this example we can say risk only comes when there is a vulnerability coupled with threat that's what we have uh, understood in this uh, second definition this one when there is a risk uh, always there will be threat which is been coupled with vulnerability now there is a one more point which is very important that if there is no consequences or impact they are considered to be no risk okay that means risk is directly proportion to the consequences if there is a high consequences then risk will be high if there is no consequences or low consequences risk is again very low so risk is directly proportion to the consequences greater the consequences or impact greater the risk all right so this is short definition and understanding of the risk now try to understand our very next topic which is also very important uh, that is exposure now in the same example let me change the color and then try to explain you just a second yeah let me change uh, color to this black one okay let's say in this wall of steel wall there is a big gate entry gate okay so that means everything is properly closed other than this area because sometime this entry gate opens and sometime is closed so by mistake if this gates opens then tiger may enter inside this uh, inside this fencing or wall and kill some uh, some goat okay so there is a vulnerability in this fencing or in this wall because of this entry gate okay and this gate can be exploited by someone by mistake or human mistake also somebody can make this uh, uh, gate open somebody forget to close and uh, luckily or by mistake uh, some tiger can enter inside this gate and do the things as per their choice or by mistake goat can also go outside of this fencing and then can be uh, can be killed by the any tiger so this gate is actually vulnerable that can be exploited and this uh, border or this steel wall is something what we what we called as in a uh, exposure area everything is already closed there is no exposure but just because of this gate these goats are exposed to the vulnerability so the best way to mitigate or to control any risk is to close all the exposure area that is the best way to fix any risk right now let's try to understand what is exposure so exposure is basically the extent to which vulnerability is exposed to the threat now in this example if you can see vulnerability is there 
this gate is vulnerability that is is exposed to the threat threat is what threat is our tiger so the extent to which vulnerability is exposed to the threat and this makes this goat into a risk right the extent to which vulnerability is exposed to a threat less exposure result in less likelihood or frequency of compromise thereby reducing risk means in this example if you can see if there if the exposure is less then likelihood also likelihood of attacking these tigers are also very less right and if we don't have any uh, any gate or something here then likelihood is very less i mean this tiger cannot jump 50 feet wall but still they can manage one point day but still the probability or likelihood is very less that means if likelihood is very less then risk is also very less means the compromise compromise of risk is very less so here if you can see less exposure result in less likelihood or frequency of compromise thereby reducing risk means if less likelihood or frequency of compromise is less then risk is also very reduced right so that is the meaning of exposure the best way is you can close all the doors you can close all the entry point everything comes under this fences or steel wall there is if there is no exposure then there is a no risk if or let's say in other word if uh, there is no fencing or nothing no steel wall will be there then all the goats are exposed then th that will be a very high risk for that particular scenario between risk uh, between goat and tiger okay so this is about exposure hope you are able to understand the concept of uh, risk probability of an event consequences threat vulnerabilities their their combination as well as exposure all right let's try to understand this by short activity so now team you need to make a small group of equal people and tell me a scenario to explain what is threat what is risk this spelling is wrong t h r e a t what is risk what is exposure and you need to mention this by mentioning probability exposure and impact concept you need to explain the meaning of probability exposure and what will be the impact you need to explain all these things you can discuss within your small group of equal people and tell me a scenario to explain all these key terms okay what is threat what is risk what is exposure and while while mentioning this you need to explain these concept as well probability exposure and impact concept all right so take 15 20 minutes of time and uh, uh, try to explain this quickly now before moving let's try to understand what is asset classification all right let's say uh, there are three room in your house this is room 1 okay so this is main gate this is entry gate this is room 2 and this is room 3 and you have three three asset or three items one is you have awards okay second thing is you have 1000 dollar and third thing is you have a 100 diamond ring or maybe 10 diamond ring or whatever you you understand okay i am just writing 100 diamond ring right if i ask you you need to put these three asset asset number 1 asset number 2 and asset number 3 in these three rooms this is the entry gate where you want to put all these three three things in this room let me tell you you definitely want to put awards in room number 1 where anyone can come into your room they must see award you do not want to put your diamond ring in your public place 
where people can come and see all your hundred diamond rings, right? And sometimes you do not want to put all your money in room number one as well. So you want to safeguard your money and put inside your house at room number two. So probably here you can put hundred dollars, right? Or some other money. And for room number three, you definitely want to put all your hundred diamond ring in room number three. So here you can put diamond ring. So what you actually did, you actually classify your asset based on their value, right? That is what we need to understand. That based on the value, you need to put your asset. and you need to safeguard those asset so business value is something which we need to understand when it comes to the it security so now if you can see what is asset classification so according to the business value right what is the value of that particular asset as per the business is an essential part of effective risk management because greater the value greater the potential impact and therefore greater the risk so based on the impact or the based on the risk you need to classify that asset and accordingly you need to treat that risk and you need to protect that risk or you need to protect that asset okay so based on the business value business value is the key term here you need to understand the business value right like in my example 100 diamond 10 diamond rings are very much costly right so I, so you you need to give the utmost safety to that ring right so because the business value is very high so greater the value greater the potential impact if you loss those 100 or if you loss those standing there will be a big there will be a big impact right you do not want to lose those 10 diamond rings so greater the value greater the impact and there is a greater risk also right people can attempt to steal those rings people do not want to attempt to steal your awards right but uh, accordingly uh, in comparison with the uh, ring so based on the business value we need to mitigate the risk so business value is important term this is important you always need to understand you always need to remember this important point business value is important all right so this is about asset classification if anybody have any doubt please let me know now let's try to solve few questions first question is the primary benefit of performing an information asset classification is to why we need to perform asset classification i have explained this by giving you example first option is link security requirement to business objective identify control commensurate to risk define access right establish ownership take your time you have just one and a half minute to solve a question in exam but here you can take at least 3 to 4 minutes or maybe 5 minutes maximum but don't take much time on this all right let's take let's see the example sorry let's see the answer correct answer is b why because uh, see first of all all choices are uh, are equally correct but the best answer is b because you need to identify control commensurate to risk you need to identify what are the potential risk in those asset and accordingly you need to uh, you need to commensurate to risk all choices are benefit of information classification if you go for define access right establish ownership or if you can link security requirement to with business objective this is going to be helpful when it comes to the information classification however identifying controls that are proportional to the risk in all cases this is the primary benefit of the process so the best answer will be b all the options are correct by the way all will help you to
क्लासीफाई द एसेट राइट वाइल स्टैब्लिशिंग द ओनरशिप और डिफाइनिंग एक्सेस कंट्रोल बट बेस्ड ऑन द कंट्रोल और बेस्ड ऑन द रिस्क यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई और यू नीड टू सेट द सिक्योरिटी कंट्रोल राइट सो दैट इज समथिंग विच यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस एग्जाम्पल सो द आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एसेट क्लासिफिकेशन ओके टेक टू टू थ्री मिनट्स एंड देन वील डिस्कस दीज ऑप्शन रिमेंबर माई एग्जाम्पल वेन आई सेड फॉर एसेट क्लासिफिकेशन देर देर आर थ्री थिंग्स वन इज हंड्रेड डॉलर एनदर इज टेन डायमंड रिंग एंड एनदर इज योर अवॉर्ड दैट इज फॉलोड बाय ग्रेटर द रिस्क ग्रेटर द इम्पैक्ट राइट सो होप यू गॉट माई हिंट हेर इज द आंसर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी बिकॉज classification level must be based on the level of impact that would occur as a result of compromise level of impact potential if there is a high impact then accordingly we need to treat the risk accordingly right we have kept all our diamond reeds inside our home in the third room there is a no potential impact if we lose our awards there is not much significant impact if we lose 100 dollar but there is a big impact if we lose 10 diamond rings right so classification level must be based on level of impact that would occur as a result of compromise in case something got compromised then what will be the level of impact residual risk is considered for acceptable after controls are implemented even after even you put all the controls but again there are certain risk which are still there and that is what we called as a residual risk right separation of duties and need to know our controls and related to asset classification these two options are just to confuse you these two options are not related much with asset classification all right so this is about second question on asset classification let's see one more question on asset classification after performing an asset classification the information security manager is best able to determine the basically the question is asking why we need to do asset classification because we need to determine what level of risk to information resource impact of compromise requirement of control strength annual loss expectancy ale we'll discuss the ale in our upcoming videos take 3 to 4 minutes and then we can discuss all the options anybody have any doubt in understanding the question or any of the option please let me know okay let's see the answer basically here if you can see the impact of compromise is something which we need to understand much because when it comes to the asset classification the basic concept of asset classification is is to understand the impact based on the what is the keyword business value so based on the business value what will be the risk what will be the impact in case of any compromise so that's why the answer will be b now try to understand the explanation knowledge of a information resource value provide an understanding of the potential impact if you have a knowledge of any information resources then that is going to be help to understand of potential impact of lose uh, of loss of any resources the value of resource does not provide information on the risk to those resources information regarding potential impact is not adequate to determine control strength requirement risk level must also be understood we need to understand the what kind of risk it is right ALE can only be calculated after determining the magnitude of loss and frequency of occurrence to know our controls and related to asset classification ALE is not very much related to asset classification that can be determined based on the if there is any loss and what is the frequency of of that uh, event happen right 
if, if any event are happening once in a 10 years and uh, the loss is also very less, then probably that, in the, that, that we can consider under ALE. But this is not related with asset classification. Uh, in asset classification, as I said, we need to understand the option number B, where we need to understand the impact if in case our asset got compromised. What will be the business value? What is the consequences? What is the risk if that asset got qualified? Sorry, if that asset got compromised, right? So that is the whole purpose of asset classification, right? So this is all about our important topic, risk, exposure, probability, impact, the definition of risk, uh, and then risk exposure and asset classification.